Hey y'all, today I'm going to be showing you how I painted and upgraded these vintage pink leather flares with a couple Pink Floyd paintings. For materials, I'm using Angelus Direct's acrylic leather paint, which I always use on my leather projects. I'm starting off with a white base, just so that I have a nice canvas to work with and everything is already um, measured out with the circle. And then I'm going over the lines I did with the marker, just trying to cover everything up and make a nice even surface to paint on. This will also help your colors pop. You won't have to do as many layers with each color, so the white base is definitely a must have. Make sure when you're painting that you're building up evenly. That will help with the end product to look really nice and blend it into the leather, make it look like it's printed on. There's four sections of color in the background. I'm starting with the first corner, which is a pink color, and I'm blending it out um, darker towards the edges and lighter towards the middle. Second color is a lavender purple. Third is a mustard yellow. And finally is kind of a sky blue or turquoisey kind of color. This is just a base and now I'm tweaking the colors to get them how I exactly want them and also build up some coverage. Um, when you're mixing your paints, it's nice to have an opaque color that you're mixing with. It will build more coverage. So adding a little bit of white to these background colors will make them look more full and less transparent. Now I'm sketching out the middle part of the painting, which is the two robot hands shaking. Um, I'm just doing a white background for this to start off with. Um, just to get my proportions correct and then I'll go in with the black outline and solidify the shapes of everything. In hindsight, I should have sketched this out before I went in painting. Um, I did make a couple mistakes here, but they can be corrected down the line. Um, I'm just sketching it out and going for it. Here's the photo of my reference that I'm using for this painting. I'm just looking at my iPad for the reference. I didn't print anything out, but I do have it in front of me out of the shot. Now I'm just building up a few more details, solidifying that um, subject a little bit more. Now I'm going in and finishing my background with each corner, starting with the blue corner and adding some waves. It is kind of like an ocean scene. Some clouds up to the purple side, a little sunset to the pink side, and then the yellow side is going to be kind of a deserty scene with some um, orangey shadows. Adding a few more layers after each layer dries to build up some coverage and make everything look really nice and opaque. Um, now I'm going in with some colors that I have on my brush, the orange color, and just filling it in wherever it needs to be throughout the painting. I don't like to waste paint, so if I have a color on my brush, I just go in with it wherever it is on the image. Now I mixed that orange color with a little bit of red and black to make a brown, um, and that was a good shadow color for that desert scene. Mixing a little bit more blues to add depth to the ocean, and then I'm going in, like I said earlier, just whatever colors I have on my brush. So with the blue, I made a gray color and added some shading to the mechanical arms that are shaking. And then adding some white here and there to bring out some more highlights and build up some coverage where I need lighter colors to be. At this point in my painting, I'm kind of going in wherever and just going in with the white, um, building up some more in the waves. And I'm just going to pick and choose where I want to go from here to keep myself interested. I like to jump around a lot when I paint. I can't stand just working in one section until it's done. It's the method to madness in my opinion. Um, to finish off the mechanical arms, I'm adding a black outline to everything. And then I will be also doing that around each of the corners and the circle as well. Um, right now it's kind of rough, but I will go back and tweak it and make it a little bit more solidified and even looking. And then this is how it turned out on the back. I'm moving on to the front now. Again, I'm starting with a white base. And I really loved this Pink Floyd logo. It just had a lot of flow and movement to it. And I thought placing it on the hip would be a really cute place for it. I'm going in with a light pink color to start off for my base, building up with a little bit more of an orangey pink. And then this has a chromatic effect to the logo. So it's going to have some blue edges and some red edges, which kind of gives it a retro look. And then I'm outlining everything in black to finish it off. And here's how the paintings turned out. I'm super happy with it. These pants are available in my shop at Misty Mountain Vintage. You can follow on Instagram to purchase or on Depop, Etsy, eBay, whatever. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this painting tutorial. Please consider subscribing and I hope you all have a great day.